Big story tonight, demanding action after the murder of a parole and probation officer while on the job. Home check-ins across Maryland, well, they've been suspended now. And union leaders calling for top officials to be fired. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live downtown with the fallout that has left the victim's loved ones and colleagues reeling tonight. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Rick. It has, and union leaders say they're still not getting the reforms they need to keep agents safe while on the job. Parole and probation agent Davis Martinez had been on the job for six years. Last Friday, he went to the home of a convicted sex offender in Chevy Chase, who's charged with killing him there and fleeing the scene. Union leaders say it should never have happened. He truly is a hero. He, you know, the, the only reason he was going on that home visit is because another agent had the case, and, you know, that agent didn't feel safe. So he stepped up. Renika Robinson represents parole agents with AFSCME. For years, the union has raised alarms, calling staffing levels dangerously low. As of late last year, the Department of Public Safety had a 12.5% vacancy rate with more than 1,000 open positions. Should Agent Martinez have been sent there alone? I don't believe that any agent should ever go out to the home of anyone alone. Emmanuel Sewell is the suspect in this case. He was released in 2021 after serving two decades behind bars. This is video from West Virginia where authorities captured Sewell over the weekend after a manhunt that stretched across several states. Maryland's public safety secretary denied there were warning signs. And it is typical that they go alone on those visits. Uh, typically, they will uh, assess the situation, assess the risk. Uh, this individual had not shown to pose a risk prior. The head of ASME has called for top officials to step down. The facts are he was um, violent and he was a sex offender. Numerous agents in the past had uh, voiced their concerns about this, this murderer. Maryland has suspended in-home parole and probation check-ins for now, but Robinson says that does not go far enough. We've cried for help and we haven't received that help. Agent Martinez's heartbroken brother says he was the sole provider for his elderly mother and has raised more than $15,000 to support their family on GoFundMe. He writes, our hearts ache with the unbearable loss we feel every day. His commitment and sacrifice for the safety of others leaves a void that will never be filled. The entire state of Maryland mourns alongside us. Now, parole and probation is still doing virtual and in-office visits, but the union shared with me today several recent incidents, including one where someone had a knife and another where an agent was called racial slurs. They say they still face threats. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.